Hey, what's up, you two? This is your girl Pink, and this is my final Sigma brush review. Okay, you guys, so um, you see me do like an uh, open package review, initial review of checking out Sigma brushes. Um, it's been long overweighted at that. Um, I have the Sigma Essential Brush Kit, which I'm reading the pamphlet to make sure, you know. Because a lot of people ask me, and I did leave it out, um, even though I did post a link directly to the page in my last video. Sigma Essential Brush Kit. Um, I think it's $89 with the brush roll, but $69 by itself. Um, you get initially 12 brushes. Um, you In this kit, you get kind of like your starter kit. And again, I cannot stress, like... I seriously wish that they had brushes like this when um, I first started following a lot of ladies on YouTube. Simply because um, the brushes are pretty much labeled for you what they for, what they do. Um, you pretty much get every brush it is that you'll need to initially um, start your journey on being a home MUA or just want to look good. So, I'm going to give you my honest review, and I'll be as honest as I possibly can for the time I have used these brushes, which has been um, about four days now at the most. Now, I initially watched the brushes on camera, but it wasn't recording. So, the first time I watched them, um, it was like little to minimal dye that came out of two brushes. And the two brushes that the dye came out of was these two right here, the SS150 and the SS187. And today, I got, after I got through using them, I washed them again. So they're a little damp right now. Um, this is the SS150. And I recommend using, um, if you're not good at making homemade brush cleaner, I recommend getting Sephora's brush cleaner if you're on a budget. And if you're not on a budget, you know, use your favorite brush cleaner with them. Only because... Sometimes homemade brush cleaner, you put too much conditioner in it, which causes the bristles to be real flimsy. Um, you want them to be soft, but not to the point where they're not picking up or gripping anything or just flopping it every, everywhere. Um, as I watched this brush today, I seen one or two hairs come out, which is not bad considering that I have seen tons of bristles come out of brushes in the past. Okay. The 150 is the powder brush, and I really like this brush um, based on if I was new to brushes. And the reason why I said that, it's a little bit harsh. Like, it gets the job done. Don't get me wrong. It gets the job done. It does everything it needs to do. But it's just a little bit harsh. But a lot of us, when we put our powder on, we pretty much do this. So you're straight and we might dust away um, you pretty much straight dusting away like that um, so overall 1 out of 10 I give this brush a 9 next is the SS187 and this is your stippling brush and this is like the most sought after brushes ever stippling brushes it's like if you don't have a stippling brush to put up stippling your foundation on once you get advanced because this is like an advanced kits if you check out some sites um, this brush here is a little bit longer than some of the stippling brushes I have tried out um, and yet I like how it's evenly flat um, if you like experimenting with stippling brushes, you've seen some where the bristles are so uneven, up and down, up and down, that you feel like you don't get the same effect as you would with an even brush. Um, this brush here, out of 1 out of 10, I will give it a 9. Simply because, um, being a person that used brushes in the past, this one is a little bit prickly as well. But it gets the job done. Now, don't get me wrong. It gets the job done. Your foundation is going to go on flawless. It's going to look great. And I do recommend using it for cream blushes and powder blushes when you first start off if you don't want to overdo it. Okay? Next is the SS190. I'm not a big fan of uh, foundation 
flat brushes but I do like this one um, because it's not too thick and it's not too thin although it is um, your basic small foundation brush your basic I do like it it picks up the foundation good it doesn't streak your foundation um, and it doesn't like leave bristles on your face and it applies foundation evenly and smooth it's small enough to get in the smallest places you got that perfect little angle to get under your eye area which I didn't do today but it does because they were wet <laughs> um, so I would give that a 10 out of 1 out of 10 next is probably one of my favorite brushes is the SS252 this is I love flat shader brushes the 252 is great for like all over color um, flicking in your crease area flicking that color up it's also good for paint pots concealers I mean it's just like a multi-purpose brush some brushes say they're just for this and that try using them for other things the SS252 it gets a 10 on my book because this picks up color the good, the bad, the ugly. So I tried it on different shadows. Shadows that I don't like, shadows that I love. So it actually picks up the shadow and puts it on. Now, for this brush here, the SS224. I can't compare it to too many brushes that I have used for the crease. But out of all the brushes in the kit, this is the one that is least liked. And I think that's good to like get a whole kit of brushes and it's only one brush out the whole bunch. I have bought a five pack of brushes and didn't like neither one. So I'm happy that this is the only brush that I really don't care for. The SS224. And the only reason why is, I mean it's perfect built and everything. But it's a little bit flimsy for me. Like... That's, that might not be the right word, but it's just not packed. It's not packed real dense enough for me to feel like I'm actually um, get what I need out of it. Basically, when I'm in my crease, it kind of lays flat. The more I blend, it, it just flares out a little bit too much. That's better put. It flares out. It fans out a little bit too much for me, and. I go a little bit above my crease or too far above my crease than what I would like. But I did find that using it for a brow light was better a better purpose for me when it came to this one. Very much better. Okay. My pencil brush, I love it. Um pretty much like any other pencil brush, and this is the SS219. Pretty much like any brush you pencil brush you use, you smudge, you get in little small areas, um, and it cleans pretty well for it to be a white hair brush. That shocked me. The 239 SS 239. It's um, your small shadow brush, and it's great for packing on lid color, um, all over lid color, and it picks up color fairly well. Um, I haven't had any shedding with this brush.